Um, I'm Ons Christensen. I'm going to say some uh, words about my own piece. It's dealing with, well, talking about animal. It's dealing with a flea, very small insect, very active, and the music has to be like that. So my piece is a character piece. You can hear it as a fleece walking around. It has no story. It's just a kind of, yes, use your imagination. And it's dealing with a piano technical problem as well, namely the thumbs. Uh, if you're going to use it as a piano study, you have to use it, you have to play it only with your first fingers. It's extremely fast like that. Uh, and may, you may ask yourself, is it okay just to use your thumbs because no other music is, has done with that. But I talked with some pianists about it and said, when you're making octaves on the piano, the first finger is controlling your jumping around at the piano. And for that reason, uh, it's a good idea to, to, to practice how you're using these things. My music is rather fast. It's allegro music, as a matter of fact, so it is difficult to do that. If you want to make it as an etude, please do it with your thumbs. Or maybe use two other fingers, maybe these, or whatever you like, only two fingers, uh, one of each hand. If you make it as a concert piece, it's okay for you to use uh, the other fingers as well. Talking about concert or not, there's the three small movements in this, uh, in this uh, piece. There's a prelude not meant to be performed in a concert, but only for pedagogical reasons, where you have a, quite a lot of freedom that you can uh, form the music in small boxes and you can like be a f flea yourself. Uh, the next three moments are meant to be etudes and concert pieces and it's a kind of set of variations. Uh, it's nice to have these restrictions about the fingers. I have another restriction as a matter of fact for two of the pieces, namely only using four tones, nothing else. Four tones they may be here or there or everywhere. So uh, this is a matter of trying to make so much restriction on yourself. Just like if you see a cir circus with fleas, they can do a few things uh, and a lot of things they can't do other. Uh, so of course it's progressive, beginning with a light one and the easy one and ending with some kind of year to Osho piece, uh, uh, the last one. The title is uh, more or less uh, untranslatable because it's a Danish word meaning antics. Um, if you take the word antics in, in Danish and put a space into it, it's the same word as play fleas. So if it looks rather well strange, it's, it's for that. So I hope that the people who are going to play this music will enjoy themselves. It's a kind of scherzo and they'll be better for their thump and octave playing. And uh, yes, maybe they could end their piece with... <laughs>